Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another one hour challenge. Today I've got an awesome video for you guys that can be done in members or free to play. The whole thing about this challenge video is that I haven't tested this beforehand at all. All I've done is see a few people do this method of money making and I just wanna see if it actually works. What we're gonna be doing today, if you haven't already seen the title, is pretending to be a noob, do a bank sale. I've seen multiple people do this, like I've said, again at the G. So I wanna test it out for myself. Does it make bank? Let's find out. I've got the perfect account here, fresh off the boat, level three, Lord Monster three. All the stats are one. So it looks pretty suspicious. I mean, I'm gonna pretend to be a skiller, I think. No, I don't think people will care. Let's see what happens. But uh, yeah, we gotta give this account a makeover. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back in about one second. By the way, this is the bank. I've put 13K on the account. We're just gonna buy some best in slots and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. And we're back with the absolute best setup possible. Just gonna go over it real quick. The brass necklace, always a charmer against the white apron. Just look at that. Looks dirty as shit, exactly what we want. The bronze med is a classic, the bronze sphere. Got those other boots and the standard cape. Look at the inventory, boys. Let's mix it up a little bit for the randomness. Got some clay, got some tin ore, some starter items, and the goblin mail. Of course, you cannot forget the goblin mail. I've got the timer on the screen. Let's start this bank sale and see if we'll actually make bank. Some guy instantly traded me. I literally don't understand if this is actually like a legit trade here. Just gonna decline and ask anything, sir. He just said all. This guy's trying to trade me as well. Already came back. We're gonna put up absolutely everything in the trade. 2,000 GP. And an uncut sapphire. That looks like profit to me. I'll take that. Thanks. Now we're gonna go to Big Chief. I have more in the bank. All right, let's just pull out some random stuff. You gotta put your items in one by one, guys. It is a key to the method. Oh, he's just running away. Rip. Oh my god, if anybody falls for this man, I'm sorry, but people do it, so people must fall for it. Uh, he just traded me and then ran to the bank. He said sec, okay. Got any axes? Yes, I do have an axe. How have you acquired so much money? Dude, what? Haha. <laughs> oh, thanks for the thumbnail, I guess. Not even clickbait because it happened. You know, I'm not saying he accepted. Holy shit, so many people are trading me, this is actually ridiculous. Anything, sir? Dude, everybody's just declining. No. 2.6 thousand GP. I'll take it. It looks like a looks like a 60 GP profit. Thank you, sir. We're on to the third inventory. We're just gonna up the gear a little bit. All right, mage boot. Please give me everything you have. 10 thousand GP, boys. Yes, that's what we wanted. That's profit right there. That is fucking profit, boy. You know what I've just realized? We're spending a lot of time just buying stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy a bunch of random items from the Grand Exchange. That way I can actually just pull items out of the bank instead of having to like buy them every single time I, you know, sell the whole inventory up. I just wanna fuck bad bitches. What I've decided to do is try another location that is not the Grand Exchange. Cause I think the Grand Exchange is a little too suspicious and I think it's a little blatant what I'm trying to do. So what I'm gonna do is just come to the good old spot where people used to trade stuff at the Western Verrock Bank. Who stands beside the pole booth selling items in the Verrock West Bank? I'll take the nature runes, my good sir. 2K, guys, this is what I'm talking about. The Verrock West Bank is the location. But yeah, let's see how much money we make off this one inventory alone. This guy's name is Dragon Slayer. I was gonna literally make my name like Dragon Slayer for any. He said, hold on. That's what I wanna hear. Just look at this. I mean, like, this guy standing beside the pull booth in this exact spot selling these items. That's what I wanna see 10K up in the trade. Wow, thank you. You made 12k off that inventory. All right, he's just gonna give it all back to me. Do I just start selling it again? Like, I guess we're just gonna start selling it here. Yo, we've got a level three here. Skiller, anything, my sir? I don't think he's got enough uh, inventory spots. I hope he comes back, cause that guy looks pretty cool. No way. Oh, I declined? Is he just gonna give me the 200k? Oh my God, boys. That's what I'm talking about. 200k just like that. Don't worry guys, all the money I make from this video, by the way, is going to random free-to-play players. All right, we got another trade. Guys, this is definitely the spot to do it at. Don't do this at the Grand Exchange because people know that you're just trying to like, you know, trick people out of thinking that you're a noob. Do it at the Verrock West Bank, it is nuts. All 
All right, we don't seem to be getting any trades on this world anymore, guys. So we're just gonna hop to the next most popular world, which is 29. All right, he ran to the bank. He said, sec, you're in. You know, when they say sec, you're in. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, we're just gonna wait for him. We're gonna do a delayed okay. <laughs> Trade him back. Oh man, what has he got for us? Spamming that accept. There it is. He just puts up 100k, boys. Oh, shit. Is he going to accept it, though? Wow. Just going to type wow in the chat, because that is a wow. And he accepted it. Just going to tell him I appreciate it. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. 23 minutes to go, 358k in the bank. Um, this guy just came up to me and traded me again. Why does everybody do this? He's just giving me the stuff back. All right, we don't even have to pull anything out of the bank. All right, we've got Star Trek trading us. I said nice name. A. He just put 50k in the trade. He said keep stuff. Guys, everybody's telling me to just keep my stuff and then they're just giving me... Gotta, gotta get that reaction. Alright. Should I just continue my sale on the same world? Or is that like 2BM? 408k, guys. If we can break a mil in the hour doing this method, there is honestly no excuse for people who say they cannot make money on this game. This guy said one sec. He said he'll buy all. He put in 1,000 GP. I'm just honestly gonna accept it, whatever. That is the first trade we actually got lowballed, guys, but I'm just gonna accept every trade. What is that helmet, though? Like, no, seriously, what is that helmet? I've never seen that. Can't you find, can't find your stats anywhere. All right, another trader. Finally, it's actually been quite a while since the last one. Just been standing here spamming bank sale. Anything, sir? Please, I know you need some cow hides. Can you note them? What? How do you note items in this game again? He said never mind and just traded me again. A hundred K, boys. Gonna say wow, you serious, guys? He did the one hundred K. Oh my god, so many people are going to be trying this after this vid. Remember guys, everything that I get is going to the free-to-play economy, and I'm just going to give it away to random free-to-play players. We need to go buy some more stuff, so let's go to the Grand Exchange and quickly do that. We have 9 minutes left and 32 seconds. This guy's actually trading us again as I'm running. This guy just traded me again, and he just gave me... Four steel two-handers, 39 kite shields, and steel claws. I can actually use these items. All right, guys, we've just about got what we need here. This is going to be epic. This actually looks a lot more legit, in my opinion. I don't think this method will work at the Grand Exchange, so I would not try it there. Just because it's pretty blatant. You're literally beside the Grand Exchange selling stuff. This guy asked me how much for the steel claws. All right, we're going to trade him again. He said he wanted the steel claws. 1k, I'll take it. Alright guys, that is the hour mark. No more trades after that last one. But uh, yeah, this is what we've managed to acquire. So yeah guys, doing the bank sale as a noob. 531k, over half a mil made. Yeah. Let's go give this all away to some free to play players. I swear to god, all these people don't speak English. What is this? Every time I try to give away money, it is like the hardest thing. I think we found the first guy here fishing. It's got full mithril and stats are all free to play. That should be a lot of money to him considering his outfit. All right, we've got another guy. Pretty much the same thing here, but he's got full black on. I love the brass necklace. Always a nice touch. Oh, bitch, get out the way. He said no trade. All right, I found the second guy here. He's a really high level well, for F2P, he's level 62 and he's got really nice stats. Just waiting for this guy to accept. There we go. 
down this guy representing the mine mask. All right, this guy only has two inventory spots and he's not putting anything in the trade. So we're just gonna give him the uh, 100K and all the steel kites. And yeah guys, that is gonna bring us again to the end of yet another one hour challenge video. This was one hour of doing a bank sale as a noob. As you guys can see, it actually works pretty well. I couldn't resist trying it because I saw a lot of people in the Grand Exchange doing exactly this and I wanted to see what it was all about. Made over half a mil, it probably varies. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like them, then just make sure you check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel to know when I upload. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.